Hey guys, so I'm starting out with some MAC strobe cream in the shade Pink Light, just all over my skin. And then I'm mixing together the EX1 Invisio Air Foundation with some Astralis Liquid Strobing Drops in Gold and just blending all of that out with a damp sponge. Then to cream contour, I'm taking the NYX Mineral Foundation Stick in Caramel and I'm just applying it to all of the usual areas that I normally cream contour and I'm using a Models Prefer Precision Buffing Brush to buff all of this out. And I do switch back over to my sponge every time I kind of do a step just to make sure everything is very seamless. Then I'm taking MAC Select Cover Up Concealer in NW20 underneath my eyes and I'm using the MAC Studio Fix Concealer in NC20 all down the center of my face. The Select Cover Up is much more of a pink based concealer so it's perfect for the under eyes and then I like a more yellowy based concealer on the rest of my face. And to set all of those areas, I'm just taking the Astralis Powder in Banana and I'm using a Models Prefer Highlight and Contour Brush and I'm pretty much setting my whole entire face, basically everywhere I applied my concealer and I'm adding some underneath my contour as well. Then to bronze and powder contour, basically I'm taking the Benefit Hula Bronzer and I'm using an EXO Beauty Bronzer Brush to apply that and then I just went back in with my sponge once again to blend and then for blush I'm taking MAC Mineralize Blush in Warm Soul and just plonking that onto my cheeks and going back in with my sponge again because I did apply a little bit too much and then for highlight I'm taking the Tarte Skin Twinkle Palette it's the volume 2 and I'm taking I think it's the shade Spotlight and I'm just applying that to all of the high points of my face. Moving on to the eyes, I'm going into the Makeup Geek Stroke of Midnight palette, which is absolutely stunning. And I'm starting out with the shade um, Amour, and I'm just buffing this into the crease and all over the bottom lash line. And then I'm going into the shade Magnifique, and I'm basically just doing the same thing, just building up the different brown tones in the crease and underneath the lower lash line. Then I'm just going into the shade Cocktail on a Sigma E25 brush and just starting to build this up in the outer corner and then buff the rest of the product through the crease. And yeah, I just kind of build this up as I go because I do lose a bit of intensity as I blend. Then I'm just picking up a clean, fluffy blending brush and making sure that all of the edges are nice and seamless. Then going into the shade Nightfall, I'm basically doing the same thing, just using my E25 to build that up in the outer corner and blend through the crease. Then on my finger, I'm picking up the shade Elegance, which is the most beautiful rose goldy, coppery kind of shade. And I'm just packing this all over the lid and applying a little bit underneath the lower lash line, just towards the inner corner. And then just going back in with my E25, I am making sure that my edges are nice and blended. Then I did just pick up a little bit more Nightfall as well and built that up in the outer corner. Then to highlight the inner corner, I first started out with this shade called Soiree and I didn't realize it was actually a pink duochrome, so it was much more pink than I wanted. So I did take a highlight from the highlighter palette that I used for my face and highlighted my inner corners. Then with a Sigma black liner pencil, I just tight lined, put a thin line of this on my upper lash line and I also put this in my waterline.
And for mascara, I went in with the MAC Bold and Bad Lash Mascara. So I just used the big one to coat my upper lashes. And then for the false lashes, I used the Makeup Geek Falsies in Elegance, which are probably my new favorite lashes. They are stunning. So I just applied those, then squeezed them together with my natural lashes, and then coated my bottom lashes with the little mini wand. Then for the lips, I lined my lips using the Tarte Lip Liner in the shade Meme. It's a like beautiful, corally, nudie pink. And then I filled them in using the Rimmel Kate Moss Nude Lipstick in the shade 42. And then I just topped them off with a bit of the Astralis Demi Matte Lip Cream in Achieve. And I blended it out with my finger because it is pale and can look a bit harsh. And that completed the look after I applied the MAC Fix Plus that I forgot about. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you in my next one.